Well, in the streets of Iran, the chant death to America as U.S. flags are torched. Karen Hughes, one of the president's closest confidants throughout his political career, was assigned to improve the United States image in the world. She is now stepping down. Karen Hughes is, uh, by the end of the year, sometime uh, in mid-December, uh, going to step down from her role as undersecretary and uh, return to Texas. You have had so many successes uh, in a long and fruitful career. How would you rate the job that you've done this time around? I'm really proud of, of what we've accomplished with a great team of career professionals here at the State Department. I feel that I've done what Secretary Rice and President Bush asked me to do. feel that I've done what President Bush and Secretary Rice asked me to do. In transforming public diplomacy. Transforming public diplomacy. Transforming public diplomacy. Transformational diplomacy. Transforming public diplomacy. Transform public diplomacy. And making it absolutely front and center to everything we do. Central and central to everything we do in government. Not only as a government, but also extensively engaging the private sector. While also engaging the private sector. And she has done that. She's done it in spectacular fashion. Karen, let me ask you, why are you leaving? It got harder and harder on those Sunday afternoons to go to the airport and commute long <laughs> distance between Austin, Texas and Washington. Austin's where my husband lives, and I am looking forward to living in the same city with my husband. Is it just a coincidence, you suppose, Wolf, that Karen Hughes left the State Department the day after we found out that the State Department granted some sort of immunity to 17, to these Blackwater guards who are suspected in the murders of 17 Iraqi civilians? I wonder if her resignation had uh, anything to do with that, uh, that little piece of news we got yesterday. She is a very, very close friend of the president. <laughs> Uh, she told him over the summer that she thought that by the end of the year she uh, was going to need to get back home. And while he is sad to see her go, he appreciates all the work that she has done for him over the years. She has done quite a great job. And yet when you, when you talk to people and you look at some of the images that we see, uh, we showed some of them earlier, the burning of American flags, the burning of President Bush in effigy in some cases in the streets of Iran, uh, it doesn't look to many of us like it's going too well. Well, unfortunately, there's a lot of vitriol, there's a lot of hate, there's a lot of misinformation and a lot of propaganda. But what we are doing is more aggressively and effectively than ever before getting out there and countering that. Karen has been a contributor to the war on terror, having uh, created the Counterterrorism Communications Center that is staffed by people from around uh, the government so that we are able to work to counter uh, the message of terrorists and uh, to spread instead a message of hope and democracy. Years later, it doesn't seem that much has changed. In fact, the image of America has gotten worse. Well, again, Nora, I think things have changed. A lot of people question, really, if any progress has been made at all. I mean, how do you sell uh, the American point of view in the Arab street when you're working for a secretary of state who runs a department that, without anybody knowing about it, gives some sort of immunity to these, to these mercenaries who apparently killed a bunch of, of Iraqi civilians. Welcome. It is our government's latest effort to repair America's image overseas, a seven-minute film produced and paid for by Disney. <laughs> Welcome. The film will play in embassies and at American airports as international visitors wait in line at customs. The effort was spearheaded by Karen Hughes, the Undersecretary of Public Diplomacy at the State Department. I really care about the way our country is perceived around the world and wanted to do what I could to try to help uh, and believe I've put in place some very aggressive programs to help communicate about our values. Karen not exactly universally admired for her past efforts. In 2005, she went on an image-building world tour and was met with distrust in countries like Turkey, where anger at the Iraq war trumped every friendly overture. I mean, there's no way you can overcome stuff like that. In many countries, anti-American sentiment because of the war is at an all-time high. And not just in the Middle East. According to a Pew Research poll earlier this year, only 37% of Germans have a favorable view of America. 39% of the French do. And in Spain, only 23% have a favorable view of America. She's done just a remarkable job. If I could um, put on one sheet all of the things that Karen has uh, achieved, I would do so, but it would take me a quite long time. The list goes on and on. This is Indonesia, and it shows the favorability rating of the United States. In 2007, uh, it's a 29 percent drop down from 75 percent. And that's just one indication, one country. Favorable views of the U.S. and Turkey are at 9 percent. Um, in Egypt, they're 21 percent. In Pakistan, they're 15 percent. 
in the Palestinian territories that are 13 percent, in Morocco they're 15 percent. <laughs> I think I get your point. <laughs> in Germany, um, in just the past two years, um, the favorable view of the U.S. has dropped from 42 percent to 30 percent. The polls have shown over and over again the view of America around the world hasn't changed. And I Are you dis when I took this job? Oh, well, then how can you spend money on something if you don't know it's going to work? That well, seems like a waste. It's like asking in 1947, well, you haven't won the Cold War yet. <laughs> We're in a long-term challenge. If you think about how long the Cold War took, uh, she sees this as something that over the next couple of decades we really need to focus on. So in your mind, she has succeeded in her goal of outreach to the Arab world based on those numbers that I just cited. But I'm not going to comment or respond to a poll that you just read out. I just want you to address what has happened since she has taken on that role. It sounds like she didn't do much. Well, I'm not going to comment on that poll, and I think it's preposterous. That's, ri that's ridiculous. What I can tell you is that she has done amazing work. So in your view, the U.S. image in the Arab world has improved under Karen Hughes. We are making progress. I know that we have a long way to go. Yeah, I'm working too hard all of a sudden on this program. I should get a raise.